good evening guys i am right now coming up with a very big change in odoo version 19 i am exploring runbot server and i am looking at stock valuation layers so here you can see on my screen i am on runbot and inside my stock valuation accounting settings i can see all new changes now you can see the inventory valuation with two options one is perpetual that is almost similar like we had automated accounting and second one is periodic which is a manual closing and then when you set periodically it will be mentioning manually daily or monthly i choose monthly but to see its impact we have to wait while we run the closing report so i will run you uh, i will explore how it works but not completely and then stock valuation account will be same journal will be same and we will not see any input or output accounts inside stock now it is only replaced with cogs account so how it is going to impact in our sales purchase transactions let's check that out so over here what i have done is i have created two different product category <clears throat> so in this pet category i have given a name of periodic inventory as a category where my costing method is average and inventory valuation is periodic at closing so over here the stock account is stock valuation and cogs account is cost of goods sold this is the very basic setup i am doing right now so you can see the entire setting has been changed in version 19 the second category which i have created is perpetual inventory the name itself uh, to you know differentiate and then inventory valuation i have selected perpetual at invoicing means it is almost similar to the anglo section accounting method now you will not see any uh, you know section where you have anglo section enable or disable so that is gone i think so if this is going to continue in version 90 now with this change i have created two products one, one product is product one perpetual and then product one periodic so let's say how it works so whenever i am going to make any purchase for both the item from any vendor and i am making a purchase right now like periodic i am buying let's say two unit at the rate of 10 and then second product again product one perpetual i am buying let's say two unit at the rate of 20 each so as soon as i confirm the order and i am going to receive it before i make any receipt let me run you through the current positioning in my balance sheet so you can see inside my current asset stock valuation is zero okay and now as soon as i validate you can see i will not get any valuation right now for this or for this okay that valuation is no more available over here but i received the item and i am refreshing my balance sheet so as soon as i refresh let us see what what will be our positioning in inventory valuation or stock valuation accounting so now it is launched and stock valuation is still zero okay now let's say i have to create a bill as soon as i am creating a bill 
I need to make an attachment as per the latest version then and then only I can able to create a vendor bill so let's check the journal items as soon as I going to confirm this vendor bill it will pass stock valuation entry over here with cost of goods sold entry for periodic item and for perpetual it will then register my stock valuation so only and only after creating vendor bill i can see my stock valuation not even after received so i am confirming this and then i am refreshing my balance sheet so entire you know dynamics for stock valuation is going to change now so now you can see stock valuation has been registered by 40 only while I have goods worth of 60 because periodic product one is not going to measure. It is directly registering cost of goods sold and then rest which I am purchasing under perpetual inventory setting that is going to register my stock valuation now. So this is the biggest change we have we can see right now over here. Now if I go to my profit and loss statement then I can see cost of goods sold entry. If I go to general ledger then we will find the latest AFIP from AFIP I have purchased. So this AFIP will register $20 of debit inside my cost of goods sold. So here if I am not measuring any valuation then it will directly go over here in cost of goods sold. Okay. Now let us sell those items. So I am preparing an order for product 1 periodic item where I am making 50 as a sales price and then product one perpetual again making the same 50 as a sales price as soon as i confirm and i am creating and validating a delivery so during delivery let's see if my positioning is changed or not so i am into you know profit and loss statement right now so let me move it to balance sheet after loading and then let's see how it reflects to my inventory so i'm going into here so steel stock valuation is 40 it didn't impact anything right now so it remains same now I am going to create my invoice. So as soon as I create the invoice, now let's see in journal item, it will book the income or sales for both the items separately. And on confirmation, we will see it will also register stock valuation entry for my perpetual item. So stock valuation has been credited means it's reduced and cost of goods sold debit now over here so at the time of customer invoice now the accounting entry will be generated so now let's see our balance sheet positioning for our valuation so i have sold one item so now i left with only 20 worth of goods and now if I see my profit and loss statement at that time I can see the profit and cost of goods sold worth you know more 20 has been added over here because that cost of goods sold is now registered for my perpetual item. So Azure interior 43 number of invoice you can see 43 number of invoice will be registered my cost of goods sold entry now. So you will wonder what it is for the expense account. So if you are using a you know, service type product, then I think that expense account will be used under product category. So now we don't have to worry about any interim account 
like stock input or stock output it will directly hit in our cost of goods sold according to the settings okay over here in audit we do have stock valuation report now i have 20 dollar worth of stock valuation for perpetual one item so that is already there but i will barely figure it out where it is right now because it has multiple entries and then i can see my ending stock also over here and if i have any inventory low stores uh, low source stock variation that will come over here while i am adjusting over here i have a button generate entry but right now it is not reflecting anything because i think that we have to reveal when version 19 will come and how i can make maybe manual stock uh, entry for that you know uh, periodic inventory setting so i wonder how odu will manage older version to version 19 by this biggest change in entire inventory valuation let's see once we have version 19 and we have upgrades let's reveal that by that time whatever the new oduers or uh, new odu users they are planning to use odu 19 they can use this new feature without any stock hassle of input and output account or anglo section account hope this will help many people many user and let's hope for the best with version 90 thank you guys good day